Ladies and gentlemen, four three-minute rounds, cruise weights. Well, one wonders how the nerves are holding up for David Hay. He certainly looks nice and relaxed, and my goodness, doesn't he look in good shape. 13-9, and one suspects that he's going to operate as a cruiserweight as his professional career unfolds, but he's in against a man who has been in against just about everybody. This is the 122nd professional contest for the man from Hull, Tony Booth. And he has actually had more wins than any other current British boxer, than that, with the exception of Johnny Nelson. He's actually had 41 professional victories, Tony Booth. Johnny Nelson's had 42, and for the record, Lennox Lewis has had 40. And, you know, Richie Woodall, this was a, a pretty tough call to take on a guy like Tony Booth. Yeah, I was quite surprised, actually, when um, Booth came in um, as, as, the, you know, as David A's opponent. Um, it just goes to show that David A and his management team really aren't mucking around here. They've picked a pretty um, very experienced guy uh, who's been in with everyone. But straight away, David A getting to work and he's settling the nerves. That, that right hand over the top, great shot that. But yeah, I was a little bit surprised. This, this kid, Tony Booth, if he fancies the job, he, he can cause problems for David A. Well, the kid, as Richie calls him, is uh, 32 years old. He's 10 years older than David Hay. He's been in with uh, four current or former world champions David Hay well that's uh, not the most auspicious start to his professional career being told off by Richie Davis for what was very definitely a low blow and remember it's four three minute runs and David Hay has been used to four two minute runs what a great right hand by David Hay and he's caught Tony Booth this is an impressive piece of uh, punching by the novice Tony Booth in action just some uh, ten days ago when he went in against a promising heavyweight the Israeli based Londoner Roman Greenberg Greenberg, I should say, lost to him in points, but what an explosive start by Hay. He looks nice and relaxed, but that hand speed is very impressive indeed. Yeah, excellent stuff for me. And what, what he's doing here, that shot there that he delivered, that the right hand, well, first of all, he's thrown a left hook around the guard of Tony Booth, which is literally distracting Tony Booth, and then the right hand follows, and that's the shot that, that, that he's getting home with. Very impressive from David Hay early on and uh, as I said that left hand just distracting Booth and then he's coming across with the right hand good work from Hay early round the corner Tony Booth uh, complaining a little bit that it was uh, something of the old kidney punch went right round underneath his left elbow but this is impressive stuff from David Hay who will well remember that one of the last times he was in this hall the York Hall here in Bethnal Green he was stopped by Commodore's Jim Twight in the ABA semi-finals after he'd stopped Courtney Fry, his great uh, amateur rival. But this is good work by Hay, he does look impressive. And Richie, he's in superb condition. Yeah, he looks in great condition and he looks very, extremely relaxed. Pretty impressed with him early here, because normally in the first round of a contest can be a little bit nervous, but here he's getting to work and straight away he's, he's getting those big punches on. He's, he's varying his work from body to head. It's the right hand that's doing all the damage, but uppercuts, hooks, but yeah, this is good stuff from Hay. What a good opening three minutes, and David Hay acknowledges the contribution made by Tony Booth. But trainer Adam Booth will be delighted with uh, the first three minutes of paid boxing by this fella. Just 22 years old, David Hay, nice and confident, a little smile, and uh, he'll get plenty of confidence in the corner. Hope that he doesn't need Mick Williamson in there, who's one of the best cuts men in the business. But that was a very impressive opening three minutes from David Hay. And this is professional debut. And uh, he launched a couple of very good two-fisted attacks. And that was a cracking right hand. And straight away, he didn't let his man off the hook. And uh, Tony Booth really did well to survive, Richie. Yeah, he did. And as I said, it was that left hook around the guard. There it is, and there's the right hand to follow. The left hook literally was a distraction of a punch. And it's the right hand that he got home with. Good work from Hay in that opening round straight up out of his stool he learned to uh, take every single precious second as his uh, career continues brought together by Richie Davis once again uh, Tony Booth is a former undefeated central area cruiserweight champion and a, an undefeated British Masters light heavyweight champion and he has been in against well, some of the best men from super middleweight up to a heavyweight in the business a couple of uh, surprise victories one against uh, former two-time world super middleweight challenger Omar Sheka who he defeated but he's finding it tough against David Hay who's looking well not like a man who's having his uh, professional debut but like a man who's been in the paid ranks for some time 
Nice and relaxed, David Hay. Hands held a little bit on the low side, Richie. That might just worry his corner. Yeah, maybe so, but uh, at the same time, Jimmy. This is why he's so accurate. And look at that for a, that was a straight left, a straight left jab. Lovely shot. Very, very fast for the cruiserweight. David Hayes, extremely quick. And he's got the power as well. He's got the physique. And uh, he really is a, a class act. Well, he's shaking out that shoulder. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think that's just his particular style. And Tony Booth under pressure. There's the Hay uppercut that so very nearly won a world amateur gold medal in Belfast some 18 months ago when he put down the uh, Cuban Olanier Solis and that's good work by Tony Booth who is very dangerous blood now coming from the nose of this uh, man from Hull who's based here in London there's a body shot again by Hay yeah it's good to see Booth actually coming back at Hay Hay's been delivering some very hard shots on the target but Tony Booth showing what a thorough professional he is coming back and having a go himself which is good to see and this type of guy i mean that they're, they're worth their weight in gold they really are to the to the professional game and tony booth at the drop of an hat he'll come and box anyone oh what a good right hand by hay caught booth again booth's eyes glazed over momentarily as hay made contact hay really going for the finish doing a little bit of holding so he's picked up a, a professional trick or two at the early stages of his paid career. He actually looked like he was actually going down there. It was a lovely straight right from Hay again. Perfect shot in the corner. And it looked like Booth was going to actually touch down, but he didn't. Got up and uh, he's boxing on. But again, Hay, very relaxed, very quick, sharp and accurate with the punches as well. Just stalking his man. There's that straight left again. Booth holding on. Well, Hay looks super confident, the uh, torn bicep that caused him to pull out of the Commonwealth Games after a victory over the Pakistani entrant, Shukat Ali, seems to have more than healed up. What a great pity he didn't stay because we all reckon that uh, he would have won that Commonwealth Games gold at heavyweight, but here he is boxing at uh, the more comfortable weight of cruiserweight for him, looks in great shape and uh, he's hardly even breaking sweat, I mean this fitness really, I think Richie speaks for itself. Yeah, he looks in, in excellent condition, he really does, and uh, he's not really out of breath. So, um, yeah, he's looking good, good Nick. Great action from that round from Hay, and he hasn't let his man off the hook, and he is boxing like a man who's been doing this for a living for quite some time. And I think Richie Davis may well be calling this off. Richie Davis is calling it off. Now, we're looking at uh, a replay here, and we've come back, and I think Tony Booth, dear old Tony Booth, has had enough. He got caught very heavily. This is his 14th contest this year, and I think he's acknowledging that David Hay was hitting too hard for him. His nose was very badly bloody. It might well have been broken. But David Hay, not perhaps the ending that he wanted, but certainly the result he wanted. And uh, Tony Booth, who took this fight at very short notice, and remember he boxed just 10 days ago, and came in when uh, the original Russian opponent for David Hay pulled out, has come in like the true pro he is. This is 122nd professional contest, and he's in against a young man who, let's face it, is going to go places. Disappointing way it ended, Richie, but no doubting the performance. No, and that's what that's all that matters to him. He's got that first win under his belt. And uh, as you said, Tony Booth, he'll come and box anyone, and all credit to him. But today he was, he was outclassed, and this, this, this kid is... Um, David Hay, he's an exception and uh, he should go, I'm, I'm fancying this kid to go all the way Jim.